Hey everyone, I want to show you really quick uh, the workout that I do that is that I got from someone else on YouTube. Uh, when I get her information, I'll put it on here because she really was a big help and I sent a, her a big thank you. And um, this is my version of her workout and this is what helped me. So um, hopefully you can see everything. I'm going to lift this up a little bit so you can see top to bottom. All right. to do this workout is you want to start off with doing some sort of cardio so what I do is I do 20 minutes uh, yeah 20 minutes of short strokes which is does this, this 20 minutes of the short stroke okay something else I added to the, to the 20 minute short stroke is uh, maybe every other minute or so I get on my tippy toes and I do the short stroke on my toes what does this do? This make your calves burn, okay? Your calves should be burning. Okay, I'm a little lean forward, but this should be in the center, okay? And then you can get back on your heels and do that. Now, part of this with the short stroke, you can kind of lean forward and do short strokes like this, or kind of lean back and do short strokes like that. But my whole thing is, the first 20 minutes, I'm just trying to get my heart rate up. All right, so after that, after the first 20 minutes of that, then I do the long strokes. So this is long strokes in the middle. And then I naturally like to lean back. So then these are my long strokes leaning back. Oh, watch out, because you'll mess up some furniture with this. And then long strokes to the back. Okay, you're gonna do 20 minutes of that. So, or do what you can do. If you want to do 10 minutes of the short strokes and then 10 minutes of the long strokes, going forward and back, have whatever interval you want to do, that's already 20 minutes. So when I do that, I've done a 40 minute workout, but to me that's 40 minutes without any strength training. So next thing is I will do some strength on here using this. So, um, so this is like, you know, yeah, it's fun, but you're gonna use that on your arm workout. So the first, what I do is I do three minutes. Um, I do like four sets of three, but I do four sets of three minutes. The first thing I do is I have my hands on the top and I lean back a little bit and I pull. Pull, keep your core solid and pull. And then I lean forward and I push. All right. That's that's the beginning. I do about three sets of those, and then I go on the bottom, and I do short bursts. So lean, you can uh, lean back and actually yeah, push, and I do really small ones. Okay, or lean forward. I don't know, I forgot what I'm doing, but anyway, so push and lean back and pull. Yeah, that's right. All right, so that's the beginning of the arm workout. So that's what I do for the first three minutes, all of that. So push, pull, top, push, pull, bottom. After I do that, then I do core, more core. And this is a good one. She, she, all you do is you cross your arms. So cross your arms right up here. You lean in. And then each time you go down, you're only using your core. You're not using your legs. You are going to breathe. So All right, and the other one I do, this is a little different from what she did, but um, she did it where you can work your butt. I haven't figured that out yet, so I work this. And I just get on like this. Once again, I'm only using my core. And I'm... And you can breathe, but that's what I'm doing. That's why I don't count, so. that one you can lean into it if that's better for you would it hurt it's a, it's a good pain so like I said I do my core I do that for three minutes both alternating so I do rest I do I do 20 minutes at a time so 20 of these and then 20 of these and then 20 of these and then 20 of these for for three minutes so like I just said, I did I do the arm and I alternate. So I do three minutes of the arms, then three minutes of the core, 
three minutes of the arms, and then three minutes of the core. And after that, I do a cool down, which is just freestyle. Whatever you want to do. Um, I've also found a few stretches. Um, I have I have back pain, so my stretches have been put my arms out and then rotate deeper. Go back, put my arms out, rotate here, and go deeper. Arms out. You can also, you know, do your legs. You just kind of hold it. You should feel your calf stretch here. My heel is all the way down. Calf stretch, heel all the way down. And if you want to do the, the knee up, then you knee is up till you feel a stretch. You know, you're going to need some core for this to hold it. Okay, use your core to hold yourself and you stretch. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. And that's what I do. So that's my workout on my gazelle. I have a floor workout. I'll go over that some other day. But um, so that's my workout. So I'm hoping to tone up. The reason I started to use this machine is because I was running on the road and my knees were hurting, my heels were hurting, everything was hurting and I can't just stop working out. I'm still in the Air Force and I needed to do something else to, you know, to keep up the good work. So I also have a spin machine that I got on Craigslist. Craigslist is the bomb if you want to just get some equipment and try it out before you pay big bucks for it. Um, I went and I got the spin machine, the spin bike. And the girl who I got the spin back from was just throwing other stuff away. So that's how I ended up with the gazelle and this other machine that I haven't figured out how to use yet. So anyway, so let me know what you think. Comment, you know, questions, whatever. Any additional workouts you can think of, let me know. I'm all ears and happy working out.